Hello, this is Brian Henius with Sandpoint Consulting. Today I'm going to be doing a short presentation on the OneStream transformation rules features. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be showing you how you can manipulate the transformation rules outside of the standard OneStream uh, transformation editor. So transformation rules consist of one-to-one, -one, composite, range, list, and mask. Today, my example is going to be with the one-to-one -one transformation, but really this process could be used with any of the transformation rules. So one-to-one -one transformation rule is a way to create a mapping of one external dimension value, such as an account, to one internal dimension value. The one-to-one -one transformation rule is the first rule applied when there are multiple transformation rules used for a dimension mapping. And here we have the transformation rule editor. Here you can see we're in the account dimension. These are my source values, so this would correspond to my external file. And this would correspond to my internal file. So now I'm going to go ahead and go and flip over to the OneStream application and show you how you can edit these outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a row. And I'm going to call this 10500. And my target value is going to be 1005. Okay. So I am just creating this to create a baseline to have one record in this transformation rule. Now, the, the feature I'm going to be using is called this uh, export selected group to a TRX file. I'm also going to import it from the TRX file. But um, I'm going to start off with the TRX file. TRX file is not typically an extension that you would have. So we're going to make a change on our workstations uh, in order to be able to handle that file. So I can come anywhere in Windows Explorer and just click New and create a new text document. So I have this enabled so that I can see the extension. Um, you can uh, change that under your view um, to be able to see the file name extension. So you have to be able to see the file name extension to do this. So I'm going to come into this and I'm going to change that file name extension to a TRX. And it's going to ask me if I want to do this for sure. Hit yes. So my icon changed because I've already mapped this, but I'm going to show you the process for doing that. The first time you do this, it uh, may have a blank uh, or just a generic icon. So I'm going to right click on this new file that I've created and I'm going to go to the open with feature. And I'm going to select choose another app. And I'm going to go ahead and I have this set to Notepad++, which is really just a text editor, but I could also use Notepad. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to Notepad. And so now I've opened this now as a TRX file and it's a Notepad. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. That's all I need to do for now. So now I have this new test document TRX file. So I'm going to go back to the OneStream application. And since I've saved this, I should be able to come up here and click export selected group to a TRX file. So now you can see what it's done is that it's exported a comma delimited file to that TRX extension, but it's opening it with notepad. So I could come in here and make edits with a notepad, but it would be far easier for me to open up a new Excel window. I'll go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this information and copy it from here. And I'm going to go to an Excel file. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to use the uh, data ribbon. And I am going to go to text to columns. And this is a delimited file. And it is a comma delimited file. And then I'm going to make sure that I designate the first four rows as a text type. That way I preserve my zeros so Excel doesn't take my zeros off. And I click finish. So now you can see here I have a file. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and, and name these columns. We can go ahead and do that real quick, but we don't want that in the text file that we upload. So this was my external. This is my internal. And these other two are uh, my comments and my order, and I don't, don't necessarily need those. 
So let's go ahead and just ignore those for now. So I'm going to take this data and now I'm going to make some edits. So I'm going to say 1005. Oops, make that a text. extra digits there. I'm just going to do a few here as an example. I'm going to change this, put a posture so it recognizes this text. Um, like I said, I, I can't save that with these in here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Now I'm going to go ahead and save as and browse to where I want to save this. And I'm going to call this I'm going to change this to a CSV file. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this now. Now I should see that I have a new CSV file. What I'm going to go ahead and do though is I'm going to, again, because I'm able to edit the extensions, I'm going to go ahead and change that to a TRX file. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up again. So now you can see I have a similar format to what I had before when I opened uh, that uh, other text file. So now I go back to the OneStream application. And I'm going to navigate up here to import a TRX file. I'm going to navigate to that new transformation file I created. Click open. And now you can see I have my rules that I had added in the text file. So you may use this process. Um, if you're just adding one or two uh, accounts to a transformation, this may not make sense. However, um, for many companies, uh, they have long transformation lists. It's not uncommon to see you know, several thousands of one-to-one uh, -one mappings, something that can't be mapped via a rule. And uh, it would be much easier to be able to edit this in a Excel workbook rather than to click uh, line by line um, and, and you're able to share and save that. And then and you're also able to transport this because I exported this from this um, this account transformation rule. I'd be able to import that to other transformation rules, which may pertain to other uh, instances of one stream or I may pertain to. Uh, other versions, I may be using this for a planned version, I may alter it for a planned version, or I may be using it for a um, another instance of an ERP that has a slightly different account mapping. So, well, that was my presentation today. Uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, see you later.